everyone. Welcome to Cabbage Patch Soap. My name is Laura and today I will be cutting the cauldron soap that we made. This is the one where we dropped in some glow-in-the-dark um, glow soap batter into the black charcoal soap down below. So we're just going to cut this and see how it turned out. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching. I really appreciate it. Um, and if you enjoy this video, please consider liking and subscribing because it really helps me out. Normally I do lives on Mondays and Thursdays, but today I had something come up. So we have to just do this as a pre-recorded video. So here I am cutting this. And we did this uh, fancy little design on the top with the fork. So if you missed the other video, go ahead and go back and watch that. And I show you how I did this design. So here's the first bar. Aha, see we got the cool drips coming down, so that came out really nice. That's really cool. Look at that little tiny drop there. That looks really awesome. And here's the next bar. Another, here's the other side of that drip. And see how it looks like uh, the the idea was like this would be a cauldron and the glow in the dark was the stuff in the cauldron kind of spilling over the edge and dripping down. And that was the look I was going for, so... Here's the last bar. Here's one side. And here's the other side where we got the nice big drips coming down. That came out really, really cool. I'm really glad that this worked. It was a completely, like, new idea. Like, I totally, like, I couldn't see how it was going to look in the batter because, of course, you can't see through the batter. So it was like a blind test, and I really like how this worked out. So here are the two end pieces, and I always cut these up and use them for samples. And this smells really good. We used that fragrance aromatherapy from Nurture Soap. And here's that, the bottle that we used. It's got a really, really clean, fresh smell. And also here is the individual bar that we made. That's how that came out. So since these bars are supposed to glow in the dark, <clears throat> let's get the um, a flashlight out and make them, make them glow so you guys can see how that looks. I'm going to turn the lights off. Oh, and uh, there's one other thing I want to show you at the end of this video. So. Let's take a look at this. So first we're going to turn off the lights and you can see how this really lights up just with a little bit of light. So here's the individual bar. Here's the top of that bar. That looks really neat. And then I'll just show you how the sides look. They glow super bright. These look really neat. These are a lot of fun. So here's Here's that one. That's how that looks. And I got that cool, cool uh, that design on the top almost looks like smoke or something. And the glowing really brings that out. I'm really happy with how these turned out. And the glowing is super fun. So there's one other thing I want to show you guys. Um, I, of course, as you guys know, I make the car freshies, those like, um, kind of like the air fresheners for your car that hang from your rear view mirror. <clears throat> And since we've been doing a lot of glow in the dark, I wanted to see if I could make a glow in the dark car freshie. So here it is. I've got it already packaged up. And it glows. It looks really cool. This one is scented with um, Blackberry Bay. It smells really, really good. And I just made this to see if it would work, and it does. So I've got this cool star shaped car freshie. I just kind of shine a black light on it, and then you can see how it, it glows. That looks really, really cool. So I've got these. So now I know that I can put glow in the dark details in my car freshies also. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the new car freshies will be going up on the website. Um, you can go to cabbagepatchsoap.com and it'll take you there. I'll be putting up the new car freshies soon. Um, I've got a couple Christmas designs and of course we'll be putting the glow in the dark ones up. So um, those will be up in a few days. I just have to put the hardware on them so that you can hang them and get all that taken care of. So keep an eye out for that. And thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. Um, hopefully I'll be back to my normal live schedule on Thursday. So I will see you guys all then. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.